One useful tool in Team One is the voting feature. This is great when you're trying to vet or get uh, ideas prioritized and you want feedback from your team. So for example, here we have our to-do list. We have uh, three sticky notes that were created of to-do items, but I want the team to vote on which one they think we should attack first. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go up to the dice icon. This is called voting. And you'll notice that it's going to start with this screen selector. Now you can drag the corners to move it around. I suggest that when you're doing this, you drag it only over the area that you want voting on. So I want these three sticky notes. And the reason why you wanna do that is because the voting area can capture other objects like videos or images or text boxes. You can see over here on the right, you can actually select what people can vote on. So I'm gonna disable text, shapes, and images. We're only gonna vote on these three sticky notes that are in the area. Now, the way this works is you can let people have a certain number of votes. So for example, uh, by default, it's three, but I could let people have four votes. Um, I can also choose to limit them to one vote per object. So again, the idea here is uh, you could kind of structure this however you want to, to ensure that everybody has equal voice and opinion on what's important. Uh, you can also set a timer if it's something that you want to uh, happen really quickly, but let's go ahead and keep it at three and let's go ahead and start the voting on this. And then what you're gonna see is that there's a little plus button now down by each sticky note. Now, uh, you'll see up here that I actually have infinite voting because I'm the one who started. So that's maybe a little unfair. So you have to kind of stick to it and be honest. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a vote here because I think that that is the number one priority. And uh, actually, let's give it a couple. I'm going to put all my votes on this one. And then when we're finished, I can say I'm done. Uh, it'll show how many people have voted so I can give my team more time if they need it. I can also track the voting so I can see kind of just a quick preview of how everything's going. And then when I'm, we're finished, I can say end for all. We're gonna end this voting session. And then there's those results, right? So we can go in and say, okay, uh, we decided that this sticky note here, this was our number one priority. So we're gonna get started on that. Uh, second was this, and then third was this. So again, voting can be used in many ways, set priorities, get opinions and thoughts instantly from your team, and then have that data to track uh, moving forward with your projects.